Hello, and welcome to the fresh episode of Tech Quantum. In our previous videos, we discussed about Dataverse and Dataverse database. Well, in that Dataverse database, let us now identify what are tables and columns, previously also known as entities and fields. So keep watching and stay tuned. Well, since November 2020, Microsoft has made some terminology changes. So a common data model is now called as Dataverse. Uh, entities are now called as tables and fields are now called as columns. So if I mix and match these terminology, kindly pardon me because I'm still getting used to the new terminology. All right, so uh, let us discuss what is a table in a Dataverse. So a table in a Dataverse is a logical structure which contains records in the form of rows and columns. So you can compare that with a table in a relational database or let's say an Excel workbook in the way that it stores data that is in rows and columns. So let me just go ahead and actually show you how the tables and columns look like in Dataverse database. So over here on your screen, you can see that I have opened my Dynamics 365 Sales Hub, which is a part of customer engagement. But let me take you behind the scenes, all right? So let me just type in make.powerapps.com. And within the Power Apps, the first thing that you need to do is choose your right environment. So over here, as this is a demo data, this is the right environment that I need to choose. And over here under data, you can click on tables. Now, previously it was uh, called as entities, but now it's called as tables. Right. So these are the set of default tables that you can see over here. Uh, let's take an example of accounts table. Now, if you go to your sales hub, for example, and if I go to my account, so over here, you can see that we have a record. Let's say, let's take an example of a DM corporation. And if I open that record, you will see that, well, this is the record. And these are the individual fields, which store individual pieces of information for a data corporation. Okay. So you can have like account name, phone, fax, website, uh, you know, address fields, so on and so forth. So if you go to your Dataverse database, the way the account data or any other table that you take is stored is that all the accounts records are stored in this account table. And when you go into the table and within the table, these are the columns which store uh, individual pieces of information as columns like account name, address, city, uh, you know, country, region, facts, etc. Now over here you see display name. So this display name is the name that the end user sees on the form, you know, on the end product. And this name over here is the schema name. So if you want to integrate anything, you will have to refer these individual columns based on their schema name. That is the internal names, okay? And over here you can see that each uh, column contains a data type. Now, the data type is, for example, if you want to uh, create a field wherein you want to store alphanumeric characters, then you will choose um, a field data type as text. Similarly, if you want to store dates, like let's say a date of birth uh, in, a, in a field, so you will choose the data type as date, okay? Similarly, you have many other options. You have option sets and so on and so forth. And each column is has a type as well. It can be standard or managed. And over here, this uh, attribute denotes if that column is customizable or not, and if it is a required or an optional uh, column. So, for example, if it is required, that means you want you want to force the the end user to actually enter the data without which the data will not be saved, right? So, in that case, you say, okay, this column is required. And the way that it is denoted over here, if a column is uh, required, then it is denoted by a red asterisk. Uh, so whenever a user sees that there's a red asterisk over here, he or she will know that it is a required field. And without this, you cannot proceed further or cannot save the data. And over here, this particular attribute says that if that uh, the data in that particular column is searchable or not. So if that is ticked over here, that means you can search on that particular column. For example, over here, if I go to my account list, and if I do a quick search 
on um, adventure and search on it using the wildcard characters, then I can see that, you know, this uh, peel account name is searchable. And that is because if you go over here in the Dataverse database, you can see that this column account name is searchable. Now there are two types of tables, standard table and complex table. Now standard tables are those tables which come as a base set whenever you create any new instance of Dataverse database. So for example, um, in one of my previous videos, I had shown you a PDF of common data model from Microsoft Docs and showed you a standard list of tables, right? So those are the tables which are created whenever you create a new Dataverse a database instance. Complex tables are those tables which contain a complex server-side logic, which also includes real-time workflows as well as plugins. And some of these uh, complex tables are used in Dynamics 365. Now you must take extra care and precaution that if you add server-side logic, then you must make sure that the user has proper Dynamics 365 license to access those complex tables. Now, if you want to know more about complex tables, I'll be sharing a link in the description below and you can go to Microsoft Talk to have a, a look into it and see what are complex tables. For example, let me just show it to you over here. Now, if you go to this particular link, which I'll be sharing in the description below, you can see that, you know, over here, as I mentioned, effective November, November 2020, Common Data Service has been renamed to Microsoft Dataverse. And also uh, there have been some terminology changes and they, apart from, uh, you know, renaming entities to tables and fields to columns, there are many more terminology changes. So you can go and have a look at that uh, list as well. And if you go down below, you will find the list of all the complex tables that are installed with Dynamics 365. So you can go through them and have a detailed look into that. And you can also have a list of restricted tables um, that require extra Dynamics 365 licenses. So all the information is available over here. It's a very good link. So why don't you go ahead and, and click on them and have a look around. So I hope you have got a good high level overview of what are tables and columns within a Dataverse database. I'll meet you in next video with a new topic. So keep watching and stay tuned. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notifications of my upcoming videos. Bye for now.